those who feel that that the Nigerian unity is not negotiable, those who feel that a particular tribe should be slave and uh, and, and, and 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 of less worth, who do they think that is going to be subservient? Who is they? Who are they thinking that will be so uh, uh, worthless? Is going to accept worthlessness? Who are they expecting? Is it the people who uh, who already know their worth? Who are already more conscious? Such declaration by Nigerian army was a joke, taken too far. It was a joke taken too far. Because how would you declare someone that you know where he is wanted when you can easily go to where he is and pick him? Where, where would you be deceiving the masses? Would that be another way of now trying to bring money? Since now it has been stated clearly, and Nigerian people are not disturbed, that every day Mazin Nambikano goes to court that day from the pocket of Nigerian state, 500 million leaves the state pocket. Akwaibo ma Ibos Mamanu Um all Ijo brothers all Ikas Um all Idoma brothers all be friends all over the world I greet you um today there is something I want us to um um uh, dive into um we want to discuss something that um we did not take serious in the past some not just few days ago um we are premising on um this as um pictured and pointed out by um the attorney general uh, biafran government uh, of biafran people alloy ejima called the international uh, lawyer of great reputation uh -huh. Um, we are. What is it he said? And this uh, this same thing he said have been um, captured by Nigerian uh, uh, print media too, like a Sahara reporter. So, but let's get from him his Twitter handle now called X handle. So, what is it um, we get from him? Um, this is um, a lawyer Jimako himself. Um, what is it he said? We want to see. Okay, here he said. It's an oxymoron for the army to declare someone wanted for seeking a separate state and turn around to free hundreds of terrorists in the same week. It is another stark evidence of the horrendous injustice that is responsible for the continued detention of Mazi Namde Kano. And then we will have to take from the uh, angle of the Sahara reporters. We, this is the premise that we will have to discuss about this uh, in details. Now, um, from Sahara Reporters, Sahara Reporters said, It's wrong for Nigerian government to declare IPOB separatists wanted but free hundreds of terrorists, now the Kano's lawyer, Ejimako, uh, said. So, now, um, let's talk about this. Um, I think I have a lot of um, details here. Um, it is important we touch a lot of them. I think it will be very important we touch a lot of them. Um, let's start. Can we go back to 2018? Okay, let's not go as far back as 2018. Um, let's not um, go too deep back. Okay, let's start uh, with the uh, recent... According to Cable News, 594 repentant insurgent uh, Boko Haram terrorists completed a rehabilitation program asked Nigerians to forgive them. That is, the federal government have um, declared to accept them back into the society. And this has um, triggered a lot of public concern. Many people have um, commented, uh, these are people who are giving their sincere opinion. Okay, let's leave cable news now. Let's um, go to um, the People Gazette Nigeria. Okay. After killing over uh, 350,000 Nigerians, Army Parade surrendered Boko Haram. 
Now the terrorists uh, begging Nigerians for forgiveness after killing over 350,000 people and eventually the government is about accepting them back into the Nigerian society. Um, I think um, channels television to confirmed 594 repentant soldiers um, accepted back as they beg for forgiveness of Nigerians. Okay, that is that for that. Then um, on 10th February 2024, the elders, Nigerian elders, are angry that Nigerian government is um, giving a body language of taking back the Boko Haram terrorists after all the atrocities they have committed uh, in Gombe. In Gombe. In Gombe State alone, as of September 2023, no fewer than three, uh, 2,168 ex-Boko Haram uh, members were said to have passed through the, uh, the program and none are accepted back into the society and elders are not happy. Um, let's take from w, uh, DW News. Nigeria reintegrating ex-Boko Haram fighters. On 18th March 2022, Nigeria is striving to reintegrate former Boko Haram terrorists who have voluntarily um, laid down the, their arms and surrendered to the authorities. And the government of Nigeria is already accepting them back to the society. It's okay. Now, um, uh, Premium Times. Bono leaders agreed to forgive, accept 3,000 repentant ter terrorists. 29th August 2021. Community leaders in Bono State on Sunday agreed to return all the repentant Boko Haram members, uh, terrorists, into the community, communities. Okay. Then um, Arise News concerned over Nigerians, concerned over a repentant uh, pampering of a repentant terrorists as 1,000 Boko Haram surrendered and to be accepted back into the society. Uh, now, Punch newspaper, 10th February, elders fought repentant terrorist reintegration into Nigerian communities. Uh -huh. Bono government repentant terrorists, 28th February 2024. Bono government repentant terrorists are under accountability. The, this act of forgiveness, which is certainly ultravious the Bono state government that is beyond its legal authority, it raises several issues. And this, the government and the military already is going ahead with integrating these people into the society, even though it is not lawful within uh, Bono state uh, laws. Wasa 2024. Nigeria. In fact, I can go on and on to read what are we reading here. Let's now talk about what we are reading here. What we are reading here is that the injustice that is meted against the approach that the government of Nigeria uses in treating the issues of the northern or the Fulani people the way, the gloves with which Nigerian state treats any issue that concerns the Fulani people is clearly different from the gloves with which it treats the uh, those of uh, the uh, uh, Eastern Nigeria or the Biafran extraction. Now you can see that the barrister, the attorney of Mazin Nambekano and attorney of Biafran's barrister Alo Ejimako is now here Fortunately, the federal government of Nigeria that that they involve in obvious injustice. That this injustice is the same reason why Mazen Nandekano had to stand up to say he is leading his people out of this a systemic a system of injustice that will never end. That even in the face of the what the people are already facing, that government of Nigeria is still not yet tired of displaying their unalloyed injustice 
at every given opportunity. Why would, in the same week, in the same week, why would Nigerian government be freeing the obvious terrorists, people who have committed acts that is very glaringly of terror, that the whole world have already attested and classified as acts of terror, almost an extreme terror, and a people who are fighting for their freedom and never committed any act in semblance of terror. Just because they are asking for, let us go, since you don't want to integrate us after the civil war, since you don't want to allow us to be part of the society, since you don't want to organize the society in such a way that it will favor all, since you have you are hell bent on living and administering over a lopsided society that is systemically or systematically uh, 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 targeted at displeasing or robbing, suffocating a particular uh, uh, group of people in the society, whereas a particular group of people are treated with royalty gloves. A system where a certain group of people are to be served. They are the only ones who are reserved with the right to lead. Even when they are leading everybody into hell. Where they have no clue of what leadership is all about. They are reserved the position. The position of leadership is reserved strictly for them. Why others should remain servants. And because of this unending system of injustice, Marvin Nambekano stepped forward after he had used the normal Nigerian political platform to see if he can make Nigeria work, if he can contribute his own quota to see if Nigeria will work, if Nigeria will change. And after he had tried this for several years and saw that nothing was going to change, now how to take the bull by the horn. And his followers are now keeping to strengthen his uh, uh, ideologies and make sure it is enforced that it will give the expected result. And these people are today tagged as terrorists who deserve to be extradited from wherever they stay in the world, where the taxpayers' monies are used to lobby, to bribe, and make sure that these monies are spended over frugal things, over irresponsible, unreasonable things, such as spending to lobby and bribe all nations of the world to help them in 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 in, in playing along to quench the fire of the agitation. Whereas there were things that you would have done that would have quenched the agitation, which is just putting a system of justice, a justice system, where the state of Nigeria would have been a fair to all state. And today, those who feel that, that the Nigerian unity is not negotiable, those who feel that a particular tribe should be slave and, uh, and, 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 and of less worth. Who do they think that is going to be subservient? Who, is they, who are they thinking that will be so uh, uh, worthless, is going to accept worthlessness? Who are they expecting? Is it a people who, uh, who already know their worth? A people who already know, who are already more conscious than you. Even though we know it was just a joke, it was a, it was, a, it was just a joke. Such declaration by Nigerian army was a joke, taken too far. It was a joke taken too far. Because how would you declare someone that you know where he is wanted when you can easily go to where he is and pick him? Where, where would you be deceiving the masses? Would that be another way of now trying to bring money? Since none, it has been stated clearly, and Nigerian people are not disturbed. 
that every day Mazin Mambikanu goes to court that day from the pocket of Nigerian state, 500 million leaves the state pocket. 500 million or any day Mazin Mambikanu goes to court. This one is just for, I don't know what, why. And there are other monies that, still, that are still spent on this account. Where Nigerians are going very hungry. Nigerians, when you bring food and even you pour on the, on the floor, on the bare floor with the sand, people are rushing, falling to pick grains, ordinary boiled grains to eat from the floor. Nigerian people have been reduced to this level of animal eating like fowl from the floor, from the sand. That's, that's why I, I want to, I am asking you, you people now that are championing the one Nigerianism, why are you people so blind to seeing these realities? Why would the same week, like uh, Barisalo Ejimako is asking, why would Nigerian government set free Boko Haram terrorists, clear terrorists, and declared freedom fighters terrorists? You cleared the real terrorists and want to hang a people who commit no crime, only asking for their freedom. Only crime is that they don't want humiliation, they don't want people to bully them, they don't want people to bring or import terrorists from all across African uh, Sahel region, bringing them in our land in the name of cattle rearers, and using that to maim by and 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 decimate our population deal so so detestably with our people come to our farmlands and destroy our food crops rape our women our daughters our sisters harm us at will whereas no different person can go to the north, to the Fulani land, and coughs. When you go to Fulani land, you, cage, you stay so quiet and so peaceful. But they travel from anywhere and come to our place and intimidate us. And you want us to allow that to continue to happen. Then we can become good people. Then we can uh, become organized people in your own way, in your own view. We don't want to please you. That is the issue. So, fellow dear friends, you can understand where we are going. That this treatment, this kind of treatment, all you dear friend lovers, all you people who are just viewing or seeing us for the first time, see why we are we are being treated the way we are. See why we are fighting to leave Nigeria. It is this kind of treatment that obvious terrorist that is known by even you who is not a Nigerian, who is from far away land that you know about Boko Haram terrorism and the federal government of Nigeria clears them conscripts them even into their military clears them of all their sins accept them back into the society and in some cases get them recruited into the military that is why when you see them now the government will now shift this kind of ones who are now repentant Boko Haram conscripted into the army they are the ones that are shifted or shipped to Jaffa land for keeping peace and security and what kind of peace is a terrorist who you call repentant terrorists keep other than doing what they know best how to do what peace would that person keep does the person have any affiliation or any kind of affinity with peace? What kind of peacekeeping, what kind of security will a terrorist give a people? Other than terror. So you that you don't know about our struggle and you have always wanted to comment but you don't know where to start why our leader Mazen Namdekanu is languishing after all the courts, including the Supreme Court of the Nigerian State, have declared him free of any crime. He is languishing there 
for defending his people, for asking for freedom, which is his self and a democratic right in every civil organization, a civilized crime. And this man is still suffering as we speak. And nobody is concerned. They are only concerned to release their own brothers who are perpetuating terror. And they went further to declare Mazi Simon Ekpa wanted again alongside others. What is this justice? What is the justice in this? What is justice in this? I want to ask. That is why our attorney, Barrister Aloy Ejimakov, started crying. He started crying. He don't want to stay to see this. And he will just keep short. Okay, uh, before we continue, I want us to um, go and um, like this video, share it, um, subscribe to this channel, click on the uh, notification button where you see bell. Please share this video, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed before. If you have subscribed before, don't touch it again. If you have not clicked on the like, this very uh, video now, have you clicked on the like? Have you liked it? If you have not liked it, please click. If you have liked it before, if you click it second time, it will cancel the one you clicked before. So, thank you. Do us good to share it to so many platforms on WhatsApp, on Facebook, or wherever. Help us, let it go. There are, there are some things we will still want to talk about here. That's why we post so that we get to another uh, angle of this, um, the purpose for this broadcast. Okay, and our Yoruba brothers and our other tribes in Nigeria, I want you to see something. Um, watch this clip and see what Gumi. If you don't know how to speak Hausa, tell your friend, your brother who speaks Hausa to interpret to you. Just for a few seconds, not I will not play it all. Few seconds, you will hear uh, Gumi. That's listen. Okay, um, uh, my people, um, that's that is Sheikh Gumi addressing his um terrorist um uh, teams. Um, all of you know Sheikh Gumi, at least for the past 12 years, he has been very active in being the voice of the terrorists in Nigeria, be it the ones they call bandits and the ones that have been accepted as terrorists. So now, this guy is telling the terrorists not to be too bothered that the military is not after all going to buy them. That the military is not going to Nigeria military after that they are in control. That they are not going to, they should not be afraid. They should keep doing what they are doing. And listen, this is what he is encouraging these people. Nothing they happen. Make sure they do what they do. Look at it. And this man has been going free. This man has been going free every day, even go with convoy. The other guy, Kabiru, in uh, 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 I think uh, is it uh, Zamfara. Kabiru, who was to ban, was was declared wanted, and today is still going free. The other carried the Nigerian police terrorist, the drug uh, lord, a Yahoo Yahoo uh, 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 lord, and involved with all terror, is going so freely today. We are pointing at these things, not because we want you to pity us. No, well, we want you to just understand the systemic injustice and how a particular tribe in Nigeria have been made to be above the law. Look at this little excerpt again. Now you can see something here. 
they don't want to. They are using this terrorism to amass wealth. Every now and then they will go to school and kidnap school children. And before you know it, the government now is raining money in the name of ransom. Sometimes the government comes open to declare that they did not pay ransom and the students are released. And sometimes the government accepts they pay huge ransom. And these things have been working well for them. Why would they continue in terrorism? Your money, you are indebted as a Nigerian person. Every Nigerian person, the level of indebtedness from Nigeria, Nigeria is borrowing, the kind of money Nigeria is borrowing from, from foreign accounts, from foreign banks, from, 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 from different countries of the world, where the money that is stolen from our resources is pushed to. Then you go to take it as loan and be paying interest. Now these monies are still gotten as loans again and again and again, thereby making you more impoverished and indebted. That the level of debt every Nigerian person going by population is getting up to twelve thousand dollars indebtedness to pay. Now you are seeing that as we speak. These terrorists are succeeding, they are kidnapping just a few hours ago. If a Sinachimoto shuttling from Lagos to East was attacked by Fulani terrorists, look at it. They ransack these people, they come in the name of thieves. After they operated, they make sure they ransack these people, took everything they have, even what is not useful to them, and they set the lorry ablaze. These people are engaging in all, all manner of terrorism. There is no how the classification of terror, the, you, you cannot even compare Hamas to what these guys are doing. And they are. The, 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 their chairman is your vice president. The man who today cannot he cannot cannot absorb himself of involvement with terrorism and the pictures that have been captured by american intelligence intelligentsia where he was squatting and eating with local and terrorists several using their drone system this man cannot defend that today and he is your vice president so why wouldn't you be swimming in the reign of terror why we are talking about somebody declaring declaring a man who is fighting for his freedom. Please let us get something very clear here. We are not calling for your sympathy. You know when we say uh, that uh, uh, there is this saying in Hebrew language that um, that the mother hen is not crying when the kite come to pick away its chicken. He is not crying for to 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 for intervention per se or to come and help her catch the uh, the kites. No. She is crying so that everybody will know, will be aware of the kind of injustice meted against her. So whatever, whenever she has her opportunity, so nobody will blame her. She, that everybody should just be aware that this is done to her. She will wait for the day whenever it is possible for her to avenge. Now, look at it. We are not crying for you to uh, sympathize, no, that's not the cry. The person they are declaring wanted he, 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 he is more than the case. Okay, okay, okay. He is bigger than that. He is the person they are declaring, Mother Simon, our PM has declared them all wanted to. But we are begging you what they are doing in our region. They are, they are our youths. They are paying our youths in numbers. They cannot confront the real people who are armed. Just look at look at what is happening. Look at this. They came within this week. Almost, uh, uh, I think it's now the tenth armored car of Nigerian uh, uh, military armored car that have been confiscated by the men of the Nigerian uh, man of the Biafran Defense Forces and Biafran Liberation Army. They have just confiscated over 10 armored cars just within this week alone, not the ones they've been doing before. The kind of arms, arm fire, live fire that have been wasted, 
Yet there is no one victim of this Biafran Liberation Army. No casualty, no victim by the reason of pain or, or even injuries. But they are wasting people's resources, taxpayers' money, in the name of waging war and fighting unnecessary war. Why not bring about justice in the society? Why not correct the errors in the society? Please, YouTube. This um, is not intended to encourage violence. But we are talking about how we can be helped to address the systemic injustice in our society. We don't want the Nigerian government to keep on wasting the taxpayers' money in waging of war. And we want put in place things that will help the public but you are not doing this the this these soldiers that are going down are born by people these nigerian soldiers that are going down on daily basis they are from mothers they have mothers they have children they have parents they have they have relatives they have responsibilities too even when you are paying them peanuts at least let them have their lives. Stop going to send them on suicide mission. The people you are fighting are people that are so protected by the gods of their land. The people who are in the right track, who are fighting just cause, they are not up to any terror. They are not up to any terror. They are only saying, please, stop humiliating us, stop buying us, stop dealing with us, stop treating us so badly. Allow us to go. We have the right to self-determination. So why are you hell-bent on fixing us together and maltreat us? You are not ready to fix things right. You are not ready to correct your errors. You are not ready to have a sy the system working. You just want to leave the state too vulnerable in the hands of the West you want to leave the system so so battledly corrupt and irreversibly corrupt. And nobody wants to be in a society that is not working. That is the simple logic. Nobody wants to be treated unfairly. Nobody encourages or, 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 or thanks God for injustice. So you are not ready to correct this injustice. You just want to force everybody together. On that do or die. That's not fair. So fellow dear friends, you can understand that we are not as if we are begging anybody, but we are only asking that these soldiers that are coming to buy here, it is unnecessary. These soldiers have their parents, they have mothers, they have loved ones. They are human beings. If it is so good like that, these politicians should bring their own children to go, to go and do the fighting. That is what we are pointing at. Look at it. Shegumi is telling them, go, go. You, they will not do anything. The military will not shoot at you. Go, just go. You keep going. They are profiting and they are using as the biggest investment going to kidnap. Please, uh, make sure you click on the like button. Make sure you are sharing this video. So, fellow dear friends, we want you to uh, make your own input. Um, put your opinion here in the comment section. Please don't forget to comment. Very important. Please, kindly help us to like the video. Like it and it will help us. Please like the video. Um, if you have not shared our video before, this is the time to share it. Please share our videos. Share our videos. Thank you and remain blessed. Akpan, Akpan, Asukwa. Make sure you are sharing this video. Thank you, lovers of freedom. Thank you, all good people. Thank you, well, we, well meaning population of Africa. Thank you, all good people in the all over the world who sympathize with us. Our leader, Mazen Nandekano, demands, deserves justice. And um, the only little good news coming is that um, he has been allowed access to his uh, uh, medical uh, professionals. So thank God for that. 
Thank God for that. But his freedom is very important. Because it's paramount to uh, 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 to peace that everyone cries for, clamors for in the in Biafran land. Thank you all lovers of freedom. Thank you all good people. I love you. I love you. Akban, Akban, Asokwo. Um, we will see you again in no distant time uh, from the Biafra Radical Freedom TV. Um, we will be getting back to you again today. Thank you and remain blessed. Share the video. Share the video. Share the video. Bye.